Hi to everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to talk about credit monitoring service, one of the best on the market available. And uh, if you have a loan or if you have a credit somewhere and you need to find out how to deal with that and what is your credit score in three biggest uh, credit platforms, you definitely need to use this tool and this platform. We spend a lot of time and money and we tested this uh, this tool especially for you and get all the information in this one review. So jump in and let's talk about Privacy Guard. Hey, many times I had to work with sites that use credit monitoring, scanning of various kinds of dark web, but there was always something missing until I found this service. This service is suitable for absolutely everyone. In this Privacy Guard review, I'm taking a look at this identity monitoring service and determining who it would be good for. We signed up monthly for Privacy Guard, and even though their prices were low, their identity monitoring was nothing if not comprehensive. Starting at just $9.99 a month, Privacy Guard gave us peace of mind, which is actually quite priceless. It's tax season, so you're probably wondering what your credit score is. Well, to be honest, that's something you should be tracking year-round, although I get that it's not the most fun activity. However, monitoring your credit report and scores is actually a great way to monitor your identity in general. Identity monitoring services like Privacy Guard are also helpful for monitoring other areas like public records, neighborhood reports and other areas where you'd want to know if your credentials were found. In this Privacy Guard review, I'm taking a look at this identity monitoring service and determining who it would be good for. The main function of Privacy Guard is to monitor your credit scores and reports from there from the three credit reporting agencies, namely Experian, TransUnion and Equifax. You'll receive a monthly update, which is about as often as possible. Now that's just the basic credit protection, but Privacy Guard also offers monitoring for identity protection, including dark web, social security numbers of adults and children, driver's license and passports, bank account, debit and credit cards, USPS address changes, email phone name and birthday, identification or application verification, public records. We'll talk more about what subscription gets you what features in a little bit, but this covers all of Privacy Guard's offerings, which is totally comprehensive when compared to other identity monitoring services. You'll get alerted if any changes or updates via email or SMS notifications, and if your identity is stolen, you could be liable for up to $1 million in reimbursements, plus help from a dedicated ID fraud resolution agent, as well as online fraud assistance. If you want the most protection, Privacy Guard offers even more features like reduced pre-approved credit and offers, neighborhood reports, registered offender locator, emergency travel assistance, medical records reimbursement, lost and stolen wallet protection, annual public records report. While these features may not have to do with the identity or credit monitoring specifically, they put you in a good position when it comes to fielding credit card offers, keeping on top of neighborhood crime and adding some insurance for traveling or lost wallets. If you're trusting Privacy Guard to monitor your identity, then they're going to need to know a lot of your personal information, from your social security number to your bank account information, so it's important that this information stays private. Now, one good thing that I'll say right off the bat is that you can access Private Guard's app through multi-factor authentication, meaning fingerprint or face recognition. That prevents unauthorized users from accessing your account, which is a clear win. But is it enough to protect your data? Privacy Guard is based in the United States as a member of the International Surveillance Alliances 5 Eyes, 9 Eyes and 14 Eyes. That means that under certain circumstances, the government could legally force the company to hand over customer data, which is why it's essential that Privacy Guard keeps as little of it as possible. That's why I checked out their privacy policy, which lists all the personal data of yours that Privacy Guard stores. Here's what they collect. Social Security Number Name, address, phone number, birth date, service usage history, which could include your IP address, browser type, operating system, etc. 
Trilegion Corporation, which owns Privacy Guard, maintains that while this information can be shared for joint marketing with other financial companies, only information about your transactions and experiences will be shared with affiliates for their everyday business purposes, not information about your credit worthiness. Unfortunately, this practice of collecting and selling data to third parties is incredibly common in our current digital landscape, so Privacy Guard isn't doing anything that every other identity monitoring service isn't also doing. Doing. To begin using Privacy Guard, first I had to select a plan. Then I entered a username, password, along with some information like my name, address, birthday, social security number, and billing information. From there, I had to answer a few multiple choice questions to verify my identity, and then I had to call a phone line to answer even more multiple choice questions. But even though I authenticated my identity over the phone, when I tried to log into Privacy Guard, I received an authentication error. I called back, and it turns out I had to wait 15 minutes before logging in, which the woman on the phone hadn't told me before. Oh, well, after about 15 minutes, I logged on successfully and was able to see my credit score along with my monitoring alerts. Overall, the setup process took about 20 minutes, which is a little longer than other services, but for good reason, authenticating my identity. I would definitely recommend it as an identity monitoring service overall. However, I think it really depends on what you're looking for, which is why I broke it down below.